Hi everyone, Al Padulo here for 360 Today, and today I'm going to show you the procedures for how to process your file from the Views XR. The Views XR by Humanize is the best VR180 and 360 camera on the market, combining 5.7K quality and an easy to use software for both computers and smartphones. This camera can do everything that you want it to do. The first thing to do after shooting your videos and stills with the Views XR is to get your files from the camera into the computer. Now there are two basic ways to proceed. You can either pull out the card and put it in a card reader, or you can simply connect the Views XR to your computer via the USB-C connector and turn it on. As long as you have the Views XR Studio installed, it will auto-detect the files and open the software. Once inside the software, it is a good idea to set up your defaults. You click on the three lines in the upper left of the screen and select Preferences. From there, you have a list and choices to be made, including checking for updates when Views VR Studio is first opened. You can also go ahead and turn on your GPU for encoding, adjust the GUI scaling, and decide whether you want to use feet or meters for your units of measure. In the Media Management section, you get to choose your default location for imports, projects, renders, and calibrations. The default is initially set for your C drive. I like to change it over to my D drive, and then I can adjust it for wherever I have my project folders. Lastly, you have a choice for picking your patch image for both 360 and VR180 if you wish to use one. I like to create a folder for all my projects and keep everything straight. In it, I have a camera folder, and in that folder is where I copy the micro SD card contents, but that's up to you. You can do it any way that you feel comfortable with. Next, you have several options. You can select the file that you want to start with and either double click on it or click the open button. You can also import the file into the default selection, or you can change and put it into your project folder or your camera folder. You can also select all of the files and render them directly from there without any adjustments. But the Views VR Studio does give you adjustment choices by opening up one file at a time. If you decide to do the adjustments to your VR180 files, you have a choice of flipping them upside down in case you shot with the camera upside down, or you can also edit your patch image and the size of the patch. The next item is your stabilization. You have a choice of no stabilization, shake stabilization, or horizon stabilization. If you shoot VR360 with your views XR, you do get a few more choices. Besides flipping the image, you can also drag to select the center of your image. The next selection you're faced with is being able to not show all of the image. You could reduce it at any point that you want from a full 360 degrees down to 270, 180, or even 90 degrees or less if you wanted to. In the advanced tools, you do get a few more selections here also. You can refine your stitching, you can do blending for exposure, color matching, levels, and there's even a calibration setting. I'll get into those options and how to use them in a future tutorial. Once you have all your images rendered, the next step will be to import them into Premiere Pro CC 2019. That will be my next tutorial coming up soon, so keep watching and keep shooting immersive video.